There are two things to look out for when you talk about elasticity, the sign and the value. Now, elasticity has come as a number, so let's start with the sign. Again, let's bring up the demand curve. Since we say that elasticity answers the question, when price changes, how much does the, or by what proportion does the quantity change? Then if the number is positive, when the price increases, the quantity increases. If the number is negative, when the price increases, quantity decreases. When the, uh, when the price decreases, the quantity increases. So again, uh, why is this so? Because um, if it has a positive sign, then it indicates a positive proportion. So for a negative sign, you get an opposite direction. So in the case of a demand curve, usually when price increases, so let's say for a higher price, there is a lower quantity demanded. So the typical price elasticity of demand is negative. So for example, we have a demand curve with PED negative 5 over here. This means that when price increases by 10%, quantity drops by 50%. So there's a negative 50% increase or negative 50% change in the quantity. This fits the slope of the demand curve. However, if you want a positive sign, you have to look at something like the supply curve. Now this time, when the price increases by 20%, let's say uh, with the PED of 5, sorry, PES of 5, the quantity increases by 100. So the elasticity is then positive 5. You get a hand of this once we move on into price elasticity of demand.